Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be continuing my declutter series today by starting with my lipsticks. I've been working my way through all of my makeup. Lipstick is the last category, or lip products in general, I suppose. I did chapstick and lip glosses, and now we're finally going on to lipsticks. Starting with these like uh, corally, orangey colors because I think these are gonna be the easiest for me. These and like peachy nude shades are the shades I just don't wear super often. So we're gonna start here. I'm going to swatch all of these on my hand and let you know what I'm getting rid of and what I am keeping. This is Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Venezia. It's a uh, mini. I do like the formula of these and I think I liked this shade on me. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Then we have this Makeup Forever lipstick, Rouge Artist Intense in 38. This was a product that I got way back when I was just really getting into makeup. I went into Sephora like, okay, I need a summery color. What do you recommend? Could you even see that swatch? Back when I didn't know, you know, what I liked and what looked good and really anything about lipstick. But I do like this one, surprisingly. It's different than what I normally go for, but I think I like it. This one's really bright. This one's by Sephora. Uh, I have no idea what shade it is. Oh, okay. We have to talk. I like this one too. Oh man. I don't know why now that I'm actually getting into them and swatching them and I'm having a hard time. Uh, okay, well, this one I know I'm gonna get rid of. This is the lip bar in Kiss Me. Look at how messed up that packaging is. Can you see it in there? I don't know what happened to it, but it got totally destroyed and it's broken, so I'm gonna have a hard time swatching this. This one's probably just gonna go in the trash because it's a mess. This one I wrote a no on it because I I knew I wanted to get rid of, but I wasn't sure why. Um, and I guess it bleeds on my lips. It's the Lord & Berry Crayon Lipstick in Fire. There's the shade on the lid for some reason. So it's pretty, but it bleeds. This lipstick is by Tease, and it is the Read My Lips lipstick in Killing Me Softly. I think this one's a little bit peachy for me. Like, coral looks okay. Peachy is not my favorite. Also, it smells like baby powdery, sort of. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is a Mirabella Pop Velvet Lip Pencil in the shade, all I see is N45. Really like this one too. This one's uh, leaning a little bit more orangey than some of the other ones so far. This one's so creamy and I just need to reach for it. Now that we're getting into summer, I'm gonna try to wear all of these. All of these are kind of contingent on how much I actually wear them this summer. If I don't wear them very much, I'm gonna have to, you know, get rid of more as the season goes on. This is a NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Free Spirit. This one is like straight up actually orange. It's very similar to that Mirabella one, but this one's a little bit more matte. But it's not that matte. I think I'm gonna keep this NYX one and get rid of the Mirabella one actually. Then we have this Hikari uh, Lip Crayon in Mandarin. I think I can get rid of that one. Yeah, I mean, it's okay, but it's, again, a little bit more peachy. This one I actually wear quite a lot. This is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Juicy Papaya. I really like this formula. It's super nice for just a, like, light summery shade. Oh, oh gosh, it's so creamy. I just <laughs> totally, like, destroyed the tip. So it's not normally this pigmented. Um, let's see if I can do a better swatch. There we go. It's normally closer to this, but I just, you know, broke off a ton of product onto my hand on accident. It's really nice for like a nice neutral, but still summery uh, lip look. And I wear this a lot of times with just like a mascara. This one I don't like as much. It's the Maybelline Color Sensational Vivids lipstick in Coral Crush. It's okay, but I never end up reaching for it. And finally for this category, I have the Laka & Co Cheeky Lip in Cray Cray. I cannot remember the last time I used this. I just, I never go for it. And I'm not a huge fan of the formula. It's matte, but it's like kind of an uncomfortable matte. What is up with this lighting? Okay, so that is all of my like corally lipsticks. I'll show you really quickly what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of these seven. This one is going in the trash and then the rest of these are just gonna get passed along. And then I'm keeping these five contingent on me actually wearing them. I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter. I will be continuing with lipsticks in the next few weeks. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.